Number 10, Saracenia purpurea. Saracenia purpurea is a temperate carnivorous plant. It can take lows well below freezing. It needs a dormant rest and takes full sun in the summertime. This is a great plant for catching insects. It has a pitfall trap method of catching and by the end of summer it is full of stinky bugs. Number nine, Drosera intermedia. What it makes up, or what it lacks in size, it makes up for in the way it multiplies. This little guy forms a carpet over your pot, and any flies or insects that come near it are sure to get snagged by one of its tentacles, which wrap around the um, prey. Number eight, Pinguicula species, or butterworts. They are fantastic little carnivorous plants. They are grown in temperate conditions and their main food is fungus gnats. Number seven. Heliamphora. Heliamphora, cool carnivorous plants. They rely on the pitfall method of trapping. They have a little nectar spoon up near the top of the leaf. And when the pitches are wet, they're very slippery with downward pointing hairs that allow the insects to slide in and they don't allow the insects to climb back out. Number six, Drosera capensis. This is a voracious carnivorous plant. When left outside, its larger tentacles are able to take out anywhere from mosquito to crane fly size insects and everything in between. It ends up being loaded with bugs by the end of summertime. Make sure this one doesn't hit frost. Number five, Cephalotus, or the Albany pitcher plant. Only comes from Australia. It's a cute little plant about the size of your thumb. It has sharp little downwards pointing teeth and relies on the pitfall method to trap its prey. Insects will climb up the little hairs and fall in. Its main diet it usually consists of ants and other small insects. Number four. The cobra lily, or Darlingtonia californica. It is an interesting carnivorous plant and it uses a modified leaf that is a hood with clear sort of transparent windows in the top of it. The prey flies in through the bottom, we'll call it the mouth, and once it's in the mouth it tries to only fly upwards and eventually falls down the tube and gets digested at the bottom of the pit. Number three, Saracenia leucophila. This is a beautiful carnivorous plant. It is one of the larger Saracenias, although not the largest. By the end of summer, these trumpet-shaped pitchers are just packed full of insects, which is why this is one of the most voracious carnivorous plants that I own. It literally catches hundreds of insects per plant in the summertime. Number two. The Venus flytrap. Who could not have the Venus flytrap at the top of a carnivorous plant list with its voracious teeth and moving modified leaves or traps. It is one of the most interesting carnivorous plants that you can have. It's great at trapping small insects around the size of a fly. And number one, Nepenthes tropical pitcher plant. These are fantastic carnivorous plants and outside in the tropics or outside in the summertime these guys catch massive amounts of wasps and other flying insects as well as crawling ones. They have sharp teeth and they are pointing downward so once the insect goes in it can't get back out. These plants are even known for catching larger insects like mice and other rodents.